What's going on guys, Crater here, back with a new video, this is sort of like a vlog, I guess you could say, talk about the whole Maker Studio situation, my time with Maker, all that stuff including, uh, I don't know what's really going to happen with my channel after this, what network I'm going to go to, just a bunch of situations, but I'm going to pretty much explain the whole situation to you, it's more of like a vlog I can say. If you like today's video, make sure you hit that like button, comment down below, and subscribe to see else on my channel. So, Maker Studios, let's, what about them? So, I guess I should start with what's going on now and then my time with Maker Studios. I've, went, I've been part of the network for almost four years. So, Maker Studios currently right now, in case you don't know, let me explain the whole PewDiePie situation in case you guys don't know. Even though I kind of, I have an idea what happened. So basically, um, PewDiePie, he got dropped from Maker because he did this video that was deemed, you know, racist, very offensive. And uh, he got dropped by Baker, and right now he's currently getting snubbed by YouTube. He, t he got taken out of like his, their related search engine or something like that, their paid advertising or something like that. Whereas like it's gonna be hard to find him, or like he's not getting promoted much, which really doesn't matter. He has 50 million subs, so his viewers are going to watch. So he's gonna make bank regardless. He's probably still make a million views off of a video regardless. So that's not really the issue here. The um, issue really is. Um, Everybody else, because I'm assuming PewDiePie. So what I I personally think happened is that um, to PewDiePie like they're making a bunch of money. So with him dropping, they kind of lost a lot of money. So they had to lay off a bunch of people. And they had, and they decided to say one day, you know what? Screw it. Might as well drop the bottom line and only focus on the top creators that they have. So they downsized all their creators to the only the top 300 that they have at Maker Studio. Obviously, I'm not one of the top 300, so which means I am getting dropped from Maker Studio. So before I get into that, I'm going to talk about my time with Maker. I've been with them for almost like, what, four years? All the way like 2013. So basically what happened was, when I very first started on YouTube, officially, uh, I used to do card tricks back in the day, but when I officially decided to fully start doing YouTube, um, I was doing Navy videos. I got my channel kind of... The reason why I got attention is solely because of Davey 13 videos. I was the only person on the internet who had exclusive videos from Davey 13 before the game even came out. I went to Best Buy one day, so I just recorded some videos. Again, I never even would have thought this became, I got money off of it. All I said was, you know, let me just put this on my channel, show some guys, because again, big wrestling fan, I was going show the public. Never would have thought the amount of views would have got on that channel. But oh, obviously, as of right now, my all the videos got exceeded by one of my other videos that I made myself. So, um, there's that. Uh, so around that time, I so, was you know, let me get partnered. I tried to get partnered. Originally, I tried to get partnered with TGN because I, they were, they seemed like a cool network, gaming network. Because, again, I was more of a, I was a big gaming guy. I was doing 3DS Let's Plays with my phone camera. Yeah, was, there were some good times back then, some very good times back then with that. So, um, yeah, I was doing some 3DS gameplay with that. So... There was that, and I said, you know, I need network because all these freaking content ID matches, it was getting ridiculous, or, um, or copyright claims on my videos, it was kind of getting ridiculous, so one person said, how do you join network? I didn't know nothing about networks back then. I knew of Machinima, but I didn't realize there was like an actual network, so I decided to join them, I, or I tried to join them at least, obviously, my small channel wasn't working with them, so there was that. Um... And then again, I tried to tell you before, I tried to join the TGN network, and that didn't work either. So, uh, I I was just like Googled, I was like, networks, and then I came across the RPM network. I was like, hmm, RPM network. Again, I knew nothing about Maker Studios, I knew nothing about none of the networks. This is before Maker Studios even part of Disney, actually. So, um, yeah. I was like, no, let me just try this, and it seemed like an odd, ne not really an odd network. I was like, let me just join them, see how long, as soon as I signed up, okay, less than... Ten minutes later, I got an email saying you were partnered with um, RP. I was like, wow. I guess because how many views I was getting at the time, it was like, yeah, maybe partner Sky. I probably, if I would wait like a month later, I probably would never got partnered because my views was going down after that. So like, they partnered me up. It was part of network. So they gave me access to like royalty free, um, free music, um, just a bunch of cool stuff. So then, uh, what happened after that? You see, that's the funny thing. Nothing really happened because here's the thing about networks. They it's a good thing to be part of a network if you're small, so you get you won't have to hassle the whole copyright claims thing. It's kind of annoying. But other than that, these networks kind of really don't. It all depends on networks. I've been up in for four years. Uh, they, these 
people really don't help you. It's like they only there just to make sure, the only benefit is to make sure you don't get content ID. Otherwise, if you're a gaming channel, I move kind of past gaming. Let's think about it. I've been on YouTube for four years. You probably would have never thought, because I only have like 2,000 subscribers now. You never thought I'd be on YouTube for four years. When I first joined, I was like 1,300 subscribers. When I came back from the Army 2015, you know how many subscribers I had? 1,700. So, almost what? Two years later, I only grown 300, less than 300 subs, or even 900, 300, less than 200 subs. It's, it was kind of ridiculous. I've been at the 1,500, and later, the following year, I became 1,700. So I'm going a total of 400 subs within between the span of, like, what, three years? I, the only reason why I got subs now is because finally people noticed that Armor Rider video that I did. So I'm finally getting more attention. I'm finally in 2000. I'm about to go in 2300. So my channel is slowly growing, which I'm proud of. But my whole thing is that when I made that Armor Rider video, right? Um... That was all me. Maker Studios never told me to do that. And that's the thing. It's like that's the kind of issue I had with it because like, wow, you guys are taking my, all my revenue from that video, and it's like, I did that video. I'm the one who made. I'm the one who made the um, video. I didn't realize my door was open. Uh, I'm the one who made that video. It wasn't you guys telling me that. that was all my whole thoughts and ideas. You guys take my revenue share. It's like you guys didn't help me at all. If you if if you guys actually helped me, sure they had the ask like a proxy to an um, epidemic stamp. But you guys, besides those little things, I barely use the music of anyway. Barely use a proxy now anyway. You guys really didn't help me out. So why are you taking my revenue share? It was just I seen that was kind of fierce. So once I heard that um, Maker Jim, at that point it was called Maker Jim because when I came back from the army, um, it got turned to Maker Jim. I was like, you know what? I'm I'm actually glad. Four years here, I really haven't grown much. I'm growing now. At the end, obviously, I'm growing. But that was all because of me. I decided to do this cool video, this armor rider video that I would want to do for a long time. When I, once I finally did it, I'm I'm so glad it actually kicked off. So yeah, there's that. So um, yeah, I'm just actually happy Maker Jim's kind of, and I, I really don't personally have no ill word towards them. It's just my only thing is that you guys never helped me for four years. I've been with you guys. I only grown a total of, let's see, I start with like around 1,200. I've grown a thousand, about a thousand subscribers in a four year span. That's ridiculous. I'm more, I'm growing more now and there at the end because of my other video I put out. But in terms of you guys, I don't think it was really anything that you had nothing to do with. I had to get myself known. You guys never promoted me or anything. I had to make myself known somehow. And that Armor Rider video finally did that. I had to make myself known. So, um, Maker Studios, thank you for the four years. I <laughs> find kind of funny I'm saying thank you after what I kind of slandered them, I guess. But, um, thank you for the four years of service. I really appreciate it. But, um, I can't really say much because you guys didn't help me so i can't say you guys are a cool company you you guys really didn't do anything for me so looking forward to what's the future ahead for my channel that's going to another networks now i'm actually in talks with a lot of networks i mean one of them is ironically machinima <laughs> so i'm actually in talks with a lot of them i don't know because my maker contract officially ends with um at march between march 27 and march 31st so i have a couple of I have the next two weeks to decide who I'm going to partner with. Because second it gets out late, I'm going to another channel. I don't, I don't, I don't want none of my videos to get content ID claimed. So I'm definitely going to another um, network. So I really don't know. Um, if you guys are watching this, what network? I mean, which network that you know about should join? Maybe do you, maybe um, I'm not going to name the networks because again, I'm going to want to go into detail about that right now. But um, I'm going to make another video telling you what network and what network I'm going to be a part of after Maker Studios end. I personally don't know myself yet. I'm still debating. So, um, I, I, <laughs> I'm actually lost for it. It's like, it's just kind of funny how, how this is like kind of like a new start. It's funny, a lot of um, new starts are happening this year. I finally got all my, almost pretty much got all my equipment back, basically. Um, minus my figure arts. I pretty much had everything that I had before I sold everything. I had a, finally got a good quality camera again. Uh, got my desktop. I even got a microphone for my um, desktop. If you saw the unboxing of that, webcam, computer, everything's going up for you in the backdrop, kind of. Um, every, so everything's going up for me, so it's kind of like a new start. It was, it's what better fitting it is to go to a new network. So if you have any network idea, uh, any networks that you know that are good, if you're watching this, just leave in the comment section below so I can look more into it. Otherwise, I'm just researching all these networks on my own. I'm in the talks with a bunch of them. 
and I will decide which network I want to join. So in the meantime, if you like today's video, I know this guy like a weird video just out of nowhere, but I just want to talk about Maker Studios because um, just again, I'm party. I'm happy because I can finally um, venture out to see if another network helps me out. All I want to do is grow, entertain you guys. That's it. And I'm pretty sure that's everybody's YouTube dream just to grow and go big on YouTube. Again, I don't. If this becomes a full time thing, then that's amazing i just want to grow and people just to notice notice my work if people notice my work they might like it that's why i feel like if pe i'm just glad that my arm riding video got noticed but um yeah if you like today's video make sure you hit that like button comment down below subscribe to else my channel i usually would say maker gen but uh, implied maker gen network but that's obviously not gonna happen anymore because they're the, the bottom half they're gonna be specifically maker studio cal part maker gen so no more of that so all my social media links are in the description below. Otherwise, this is Crater signing off. Catch you guys later. See ya.